Hello, 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 and good afternoon. Welcome to your Mindful Monday session. Today is the 22nd of February. If you can just let me know if you can hear and see me OK in the Q&A box, that would be wonderful. And as always, we'll give it a few moments for people to join us. I hope this day finds you well. I have got a brand new microphone that I'm using, so hopefully you can hear me OK and see me OK. Uh, so just let me know when you can. If. And we will get started in just a few moments. Can't seem to see anything in the chat there. Um, perhaps there's no Q and A today. Yeah, I think I may have uh, forgotten the Q and A function today. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that you can hear and see me okay. Uh, there shouldn't be a reason why not. If anybody's new to mindfulness, welcome. If anybody's new to our Mindful Monday sessions, welcome. And yeah, perfect. There's no chat box I just see. OK, beautiful. OK, perfect. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Suzanne. Thanks, Caroline. For some reason, the Q&A box has gone missing today. But never mind, never mind. Let's uh, let's get cracking. So we always start, don't we, with this definition of mindfulness. I should really learn it, shouldn't I? I probably do know it, but uh, I always like to have the words in front of me so that I kind of get them spot on. Mindfulness means maintaining a moment by moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations and surrounding environment through a gentle and nurturing lens. Mindfulness also involves acceptance, meaning that we pay attention to our thoughts and feelings without judging them without believing, for instance, that there's a right or a wrong way to think or feel in a given moment. When we practice mindfulness, our thoughts tune into what we're sensing in the present moment rather than rehashing the past or imagining the future. So, we really are bringing our attention to this moment for the next 25 minutes or so. We really are exploring what happens, you know, what arises. And I really want you to tease away any judgments about your thoughts or feelings that you might experience. And even start to notice those judgments because they will happen automatically. You might think, oh, why am I thinking that? Oh, no, I'm judging myself. Oh, no. And it might get you into a little bit of a pickle. So don't worry about that. Feel free to get yourself comfortable now. If you're not comfortable already. 
I'm just sitting here with a chair, with a back. You can be seated, you can be lying down. I generally tend to put my hands on my thighs, on my lap. And just close your eyes when you're ready. And let's take a few deep breaths together here. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Inhale. And exhale. One more together. Let's breathe in. And let's breathe out together. And keep breathing for me. Breathe slowly. Breathe deeply. And if you can, notice that air filling the depths of your lungs. And it should be pushing your belly out away from the spine and then drawing it back in closer to the spine. And I want you just to take a moment right here. Why are you here today? Why are you here? Is it to slow down? Is it to just relax for a few moments? Is it to explore? All of those intentions are welcome here. We always start with the breath. We bring our attention to the breath. And we cannot fail to bring our attention to this present moment. Now that doesn't mean we might not have other sensations, other feelings, other thoughts. But when we notice those other feelings, when we notice those other thoughts, we know that they're occurring at the same time as our breath 
in this present moment. The topic for today's session is listening versus hearing. Is there a difference? And if so, what is that difference? I found a lovely definition. that we can use. What does that mean to you, the difference? What thoughts are coming up for you? So, the definition of hearing has more to do with the physiological act of hearing sounds than it does with making sense and connecting with the person who's talking to you. Wherever you are in the world, You might hear other sounds right now. I can hear my radiator clicking and crunching away. I can hear it whirring. I can hear the birds outside. And far into the distance, I can hear just the faintest of the traffic. Listening on the other hand, means to pay attention to sound, to hear something with thoughtful attention and to give consideration. How often do we truly listen? How often do we give thoughtful attention? And in this moment, that bird song shifts from hearing it to really listening when we focus our attention to what we're listening to. How about the people in our lives? How often do we hear them? How often do we truly listen? How often do we listen with thoughtful attention? and give consideration.
when we have conversations with other people. Oftentimes, we're really waiting for our opportunity to speak. Rather than truly listening. Truly listening to the words. But also to the meaning behind the words. And what I refer to and what I mean by this is that words don't have any inherent meaning. A word is just a combination of letters, of sounds. And when we order those letters and we order those sounds, into a particular configuration, they point to meaning. If we take the letters D, O and G, Those letters in that configuration points to whatever that means to you. Is it a pleasant experience? Perhaps it's a scary experience. And when we use those same letters and change the configuration to G, O and D, notice the difference. Is there a difference? Is there a different feeling that comes with that configuration? So when we truly listen, We don't listen to the words. We listen beyond the words. We listen to what the word is pointing to. And it's so common to listen in a very shallow way, to listen to the words, it's very common. And it's generally what we, we do most of the time. But can we listen more deeply to our loved ones, to our colleagues, to our friends, even to strangers? Can we listen 
to our bodies. Can we listen? to the messages that our body is sending us. And when we listen deeply, we notice that we can actually listen to our thoughts. We can notice them. And we can avoid getting caught up by them. We can avoid allowing our thoughts to run our lives. And what I mean by that is our thoughts often direct our behavior. And sometimes that's a good thing. And sometimes it's not so good. Sometimes we get caught up in our thinking. We worry, we stress. about things that are completely out of our control. The purpose, if any purpose, more than relaxing, more than slowing down, is to notice our thoughts, to notice our feelings when we come to these sessions. Not to judge them, but just to make a distinction Our thoughts are objects placed on the table. They are things that we are aware of. They are things that we can differentiate between and who we really are, who we are, is the one that knows this, is the table. With strong foundations, four strong legs. And it's very helpful to know this. It's very helpful to know that 
that we are the knower of thoughts, we are the knower of feelings, not the thoughts, not the feelings themselves. In a moment, I'm going to count down from five to one. And when I get to one, I just want you to bring your attention back to the room you're in. Try not to rush off anywhere as, as usual. Try to allow yourself to Ease your way back into your day. Five, four, three, two, and one. Open your eyes in your own time. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for giving yourself that time. I'll just hold the space here for us for a few moments. It's a shame I can't hear from you. Hopefully we'll get that rectified. So can we listen more? Maybe speak less. I'm always speaking. I know I could listen more. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a lovely week. You should be getting the links through this week, today really, for next week's session. So um, I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a wonderful week and hopefully I can hear from you next week as well. Take care.